So I will start present now. Actually, it's a it's a advanced project like the, from the last week tutorial. So the motivation is we have to rebuild the I2N system from our lab to as a simulator and doing some stuff in the uh, these simulators. The outline will be the same from last week. So it first is Ross Industrial and then the setup and then Gazebo and after that is uh, Apotech detector and uh, we are adding some new topics is the intersection of the camera's ray. Uh, I will explain it this later. So uh, I will quickly uh, rapidly run through this boring stuff. Uh, first is ROS Industrial like I said last week. It's uh, open source for ROS and uh, it wants it to the industrial level and manufacturing uh, automation and robotics and it includes so many interfaces to industrial manipulator gripper sensors and uh, device network. So this is the architecture of the ROS Industrial and this is the ROS and the other one is the ROS Industrial which include uh, interfaces, simple message layer and controller which can let you uh, communicate to the actual robot. And this is the eye to hand system. Uh, of course, we're using the universal robot UR3 and RGBD sensors. And this is the setup in Gazebo. The next thing is I have added a little bit, I have changed a little bit the Evotech detector from the source code. So I adding two constructors instead of one. So each constructor will subscribe an image from a single camera. So it will no longer only publish one information from each camera. So it will publish three cameras information at the same time. So first you're going to subscribe the camera's image and then do the detection uh, algorithm and then publish. So they're going to publish three uh, information like the detector image, post array and TF. And uh, the intersection part, I'm going to use this TF, uh, this transformation to do something special. So quickly run to this, the same thing, the Apple Tech detector, first pre-processing and then calculate the local gradient of every pixels. And then after that, using the local gradient, you can generate a list of edges. And then using these edges, you can form clusters. And clusters, you fill in lines, we call segments. And you'll find the connector segments. You'll find connector segments. Once you find the lens four, which is four connector segments like this, which call quad and decode the quad and generate the tag detections list. And using and overlapping the tag detection list, you can find the lowest dis timing distance which is more relevant text uh, of the image. And then this the whole plan of our systems. First, as is UR Gazebo is, so it subscribe the image from, uh, Apple Tech is subscribe the image from this. And then most, and the RVs is read the joint status. Actually, the RVs is uh, reading so many information, but we are going to use is the joint status and uh, the TF. So uh, I'm going to list all, I'm not going to list all, but uh, this is the main part. And then I was, uh, and then I'm using the move planning uh, and execution, so I can actually move the robot from uh, Arvis and the uh, the gazebo robots and can actually move. So the robot can actually move, and then the intersection node will subscribe the Avotech detector uh, transformations. So uh, so this is the demo video, like I've run uh, Avotech detector and the uh, gazebo. So you can see there is three transformation in the Apple text. As you can see, the transformation of each camera pro published actually is not quite accurate. Some is far and some is near, so it's not accurate. Uh, although I'm using the gazebo with in a perfect situations, uh, but it still have some errors on it. So yeah, I'm using uh, this information from the Apple text detector. So I will find the intersection on the Apple tag. So uh, next thing I'm calculate the intersection part, which is see the relations of the Apple tag itself. So I'm um, extend the TF to the vector to uh, further so you can see the intersect part of it. You find the intersection point, first you have four points. One is camera positions and the transformation, the Apple tag positions. Using the vector and extend it to the maybe C1 or T1 directions and you find these relations 
uh, with the intersect point equations. Uh, we simplify it to like these equations is over determined equations like we have once you find alpha beta and, mod, and replace it back to the this algorithm and then you will find the intersect point. This video is showing the uh, we have run the intersection node so the intersect point is which like this xyz and compared to the actual apple tag position which is uh, quite similar with in millimeters arrow yep like this uh, 0 0.19 negative 0 0.8 0 0.08 and uh, 0 0.6 yeah it's quite similar to the uh, actual apple tag positions and this video is show uh, i've combined with the uh, move it so so the robot it can move with doing uh, this planning and path, path and planning and executions uh, so we will move to the new directions new new post sorry so the position of the abortag will change later uh, so it starts changing now and then the abortag will doing his work to detect and then change the form and then the intersection of will recalculate the intersect point and this is the new intersect point after I move the uh, robot to the new post uh, we're doing this is for uh, actually the apple tech detections uh, we can't really find the accurate position of it uh, we have we still have some errors but using the intersect point we can actually calculate the uh, accurate position in gazebo not in the real, real scenario in the real scenario roles, yeah so uh, that is our presentation.